Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Kmart haul. I've really been trying to cut down my Kmart visits, but it's really hard. I go and do my groceries every week and right before I walk into Coles, I have to walk past a Kmart and it's like an internal battle of whether I walk in there and spend an hour of my time browsing or just get to the grocery store. But anyway, I have a bunch of stuff here to show you, a mix of clothes, some accessories, oh yeah, some accessories and a little bit of house decor. So if you're excited for this video, give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. Starting off with one of my favorite pieces, I picked up this midi length leopard print skirt. I'm going to insert little try on clips or pictures as well so you can get a better look because it's a bit hard to see. Just holding it up like this. So animal print has been really on trend lately and I'm so glad it came out has jumped on board with this. I got this one for only $15 I'm pretty sure. So it's got a nice stretchy waist which helps a lot and then down the center it's got this little button detail. See those there? Yeah. And then it does have a split at the front too from about your knees, maybe just above your knees down. It fits really nicely. I think it's a really great way to get on trend fashion for an affordable price. So absolutely love this skirt. <laughs> I did notice recently too, they do have a few more leopard print styles in store. They've got like a long sleeve um, blouse and like a little cami. So if you're interested in this design, hit up Kmart. Next, I picked up this dusty pink blazer and oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this. So I got this one in a size 10 and it was $27. Now it is a mix of linen and cotton, so it's got that really nice linen-y, linen-y, linen finish that has also been really on trend lately. I absolutely love the color of this and I think it's going to look really nice coming into these cooler months. Well, I say it's meant to be coming into cooler months, but Queensland just does what it wants, so. Hopefully I get to wear this soon. So the sleeves on it do come rolled up, so they are cuffed a little bit. And then the front does have this fake pocket detail, which I think looks really nice. It's a really nice fitted shape and I love it because you can wear it casually or if you work in an office, this is also a really great style. Next, I picked up some gym clothes and let's be real, I don't go to the gym. I maybe do a little bit of yoga in my lounge room, go for a walk every now and then, but that's as far as my exercising goes. But these were just too cute not to pick up. So firstly, I got a pair of little gym shorts. I like the shorts because it's just, I get, I get really stressed putting on long tights. It's already hot and then exercising you get hot. I don't need long pants. So these shorts are super cute. I'm pretty sure they were only like $8. I love the pattern. They've got a nice thick elastic band waist up the top here that does come up quite high. And then it's also got a little inbuilt pocket, which is really nice. The only thing I found with these is that they didn't make the back longer than the front. So on my butt, these are really, really short. Like I don't feel comfortable wearing them out in public. The front is a really nice length, but I just felt like they should have made the back a little bit longer to compensate for your booty. But besides that, I absolutely love them and they're super comfy for wearing around the house. And then the next pair I got are actually a long pair of leggings. These, oh, they're so cute. I love the navy blue color with the floral print and then down the side they've got like a stripe detail. Can you see that there? Now these also have that double lined thick elastic waist, but they don't come with the inbuilt pocket. I picked both of these up in a size 10 and they fit me really, really well. Again, one little thing with these tights is I wish that the waist was a little bit more high waisted. I feel like it just sits a little bit too low for my liking. It's not like it's some low rider about to see your butt crack action, but I just would prefer if it was a little bit higher. The length of these is really nice though. It sits kind of halfway between my calf and my ankle, so I really like that length, and they're just super comfy. 
I think they were 10 to $15. I don't know where my receipts are, so I will link as much as I can down in the description box below. But otherwise, I'm just gonna guess the prices and I'm sure it's around that anyway. Next, I picked up a wide brim fedora hat. I absolutely love, love, love these hats. And this was only $12. It comes in black and in navy. So I love that the brim is solid. It's not floppy. So I really like how it sits out like this. I am the biggest hat fan. I don't just like them for style. I like them because I'm really fair and I need a hat. So I just think that hats are a really nice way to dress up an outfit, especially just a plain black one like this. It will go with pretty much anything. And it's actually really practical if you're out on the weekend at the markets or doing some exploring, then you need a hat because you need to protect yourself from the sun. Okay. Next, I picked up a pair of shoes and these are just a small little black heel. So they were originally $25, but I got them on sale for $15, which is even better. I love this style of heel. I just think it's a classic and something that you need, well, I need in my wardrobe. I already have a pair like this in nude. I used to have a black pair, but my heel, you know when the bottom pops out and it's just like metal, can't walk in them. So I definitely needed a new pair of these. I just find that this simple style goes with most outfits. And if you're actually going to an event where you're gonna be on your feet all night, I think that this this tag, let's, let's hold up the other shoe because that tag's annoying. So as I was saying, if you're going to an event where you're gonna be standing most of the night, I think that this size heel is really comfortable and your feet aren't gonna get sore after like 30 minutes. You can definitely stand in these for a long period of time. I think that the little strap around the ankle and the one across the toes is really sleek and elegant and I'm just so glad I found these on sale. Next, I have a few hair accessories. The first one is quite boring. It was just a pack of these black stretchy headbands. Now that I'm growing my hair back, it's at a length where like I can tie it up, but the back hangs out a bit and it just gets a little bit annoying when I'm doing my a little bit of exercise or if I'm doing housework. So I thought these would be really good just to get that hair back, get it out of my face, get it off of my neck. Perfect. Next, I got some scrunchies and Kmart has the best selection of scrunchies and they are all so affordable. I think a three pack is like $5. So these ones I thought were a little bit different and super cute. They've got a little bow detail with a really nice gold detail. I don't know, but these look super cute if you have your hair tied up in a pony and then you put the little bow up the top there. <gasps> so adorable. Next, I picked up this daily to-do list notebook. First of all, isn't it cute? Baby pink, rose gold, gold, rose gold detailing. And then on the inside, it says, don't cry over the past, it's gone. Don't stress about the future, it hasn't arrived. Live in the present and make it beautiful. So motivating, thank you Kmart. So every page it says things to do, it's got priorities, and then if there's time. So I like that it's sectioned up like that. I feel like it's really helpful for my day-to-day -day life. I'm the kind of person that writes a to-do list every day. I just, I need to, I can't live without a to-do list. I need to get it out of my head, onto paper, and then I can see what needs to be done. I'm pretty sure this was only $5, so super cute if you're into writing down lists. Sometimes I don't know what I'm saying here. All right, now moving on to some house decor. Firstly, I picked up some cushions. This is the first one. It's like a long, slim rectangle and it's in this creamy beige color. I love, love the detailing on this. I don't really know how to describe it, but I'm sure you can figure it out by looking at it. Oh my God, that fan. You need to shut up. Shh, shh. So we have a gray couch in our lounge room. So I just wanted a bunch of neutral colored cushions to go on it. So next I picked up this rather large one and it's in a 
I don't know, you can see what it looks like and it's light grey and it's actually really soft and squishy so I really like it. Next I picked up this large vase and I really love the detail on this. It's like a grey and white stripe but it's really faded. And then the fake greenery I have in here is actually from Ikea. So this goes on my dining table and let me show you what I also brought from Kmart to sit it on. So I've got this wooden serving board that sits in the middle of my dining table and then I've got my vase with the greenery sitting on top and then a few little other decorative pieces. This serving board is actually so cute. It's got these really nice black handles and the detail is really, really nice. I love it. I think this one was around $15. I always look in the kitchen section at their serving board little area because a lot of the pieces you can actually use for home decor. So in maybe a couple of Kmart hauls back, I actually bought that wooden stand with the black metal legs and I use it in my makeup room as a little shelf. It would look really cute in the bathroom as well. I just Keep your eye out for that section. You don't just have to use these to eat cheese and crackers off. And then lastly, shut up. Shh, shh. And then lastly, I picked up this super cute woven basket looking plant stand thing. I don't have a plant to put in it yet. I've been meaning to go to the markets and get one, but Sunday, it's like sleep in or go to the markets. I'm gonna sleep in. But anyway, I think this was around 20 or $25. The legs just twist on and off, really easy to put together. And I just think it is super cute, really goes with the style of my house and I can't wait to get a plant to put in it. I'm thinking one that like pours out the side, you know? A little bit of a vine, some vine action. All right, well that is everything I have to show you today. If you wanna watch some more Kmart hauls, I will link my playlist down below because I have done a few. I love Kmart. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.